Gamers have been so upset to hear about Stellar Blade censorship and people want to find any sort of way to get their message across to shift up in Sony that we do not want to deal with this in our games, especially one that people thought might have been a Game of the Year contender. But now that there are things like petitions popping up online, the GameSpot editor Jessica Cogswell has described the petition and plan to uncensor Stellar Blade as the most unhinged behavior she's seen. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, I of course do not trust video game journalists because they're all just activists, but they don't actually want to make positive changes within the industry that they're part of. They just want to sit and whine and complain, and ultimately all they do is attack the consumers who are trying to make change for the better. And now that we know Stellar Blade is in fact censored and people are trying to come up with plans to uncensor the game and they're doing things like starting and signing petitions, um, these people who wanted the game censored in the first place have been trying to fight back against our attempts to get Sony and Shift Up to listen to us. This is a That Park Place article. It says the GameSpot editor, Jessica, took to social media to decry Mark Kern's petition and plans to uncensor Stellar Blade as the most unhinged behavior she's seen in quite some time. Now, of course, we had only recently heard from Shift Up that Stellar Blade was going to be uncensored worldwide and fans were praising this because how often now do we get games that are wholly uncensored that um, are exactly what we want so people had very high expectations for Stellar Blade and then we found out 48 hours before release that it in fact was censored there are bunny outfits in the game that are censored which disappointed people there's been reports of the gore being toned down. I personally haven't noticed um, anything being toned down when it comes to the gore. I have been live streaming my playthrough. I've been enjoying the game so far, and it's still very bloody, very violent, but regardless, that is also floating around. And we, of course, had the hard R graffiti controversy, um, and that was censored. And now that fans are upset and you know, we're seeing the different, some of the different costumes that are censored be popping up and lots of people are talking about them. There are petitions being started to hopefully get Sony and shift up to listen to us and potentially revert the censorship. But instead of actually standing with gamers, we now have these hacktivists attacking us it says, given these changes, Kern launched an eight-step plan to uncensor the game, as well as a petition, and uh, of course it concludes with saying, we believe in the game, we believe in Shift Up, and we are asking to get the game we believed in, revert the censorship changes. I sadly do not see this happening, just because they've already made the decision, and we're talking about Sony here. I have talked for years now about Sony forcing censorship onto developers, and they're an extremely hypocritical company. They will allow, you know, Golf Smash Abbey in The Last of Us 2, and they will allow uh, Baldur's Gate 3 with penis jiggle physics, but they won't allow cleavage on a very attractive Asian woman, because of course, why would they do that? Um, over the years, I've definitely had to talk a lot about companies uh, not fairly, not fairly implementing their rules, but now Jessica has decided to tweet a screenshot of the petition and hashtag free stellar blade saying this is the most unhinged behavior i've seen in quite some time and i have a two-year-old she is saying that you speaking with your wallet you going on social media and using hashtags and ultimately you trying to communicate what you are upset with a company about is unhinged behavior which of course is completely freaking absurd. It is perfectly fine to tell a company what what you are happy with and what you are not happy with when it comes to the products that they are putting out because yes, 
the creatives behind a product need to feel confident in their work, but they're not selling it to themselves. They're selling it to us. We are the ones who need to be fully confident in the product that they are creating because it's our money that is going to continue to fund them and make their game a success or a failure. And when someone like this has one bad take, there's more to follow. I recently had to talk about Jessica because she is no stranger to attacking gamers despite writing for an outlet that attempts to cater to us since she recently had said, man, I don't know how all of these incel gamer dudes are expecting games to have hot characters and characters representative of them at the same time, of course, basically saying that male gamers are dumb and they're ugly and that nobody wants to look at them all day instead of actually having a level of general respect as human beings. No, no, she just thinks that all white men are evil and terrible people. It says, when did we ever want representation? Every other effing time your collective tweets, it's about how woke characters and women are in every role and you miss cishet white men from being allowed in things, we have seen a major shift in the video gaming industry over the past few years, and white male characters only really exist in the role of villains, and the few times we have white male characters um, who are the heroes, it's because they are big actors who want to be part of a project, like, of course, uh, Cameron Monaghan in Star Wars Fallen Order slash Jedi Survivor, but it, it's not that we want things to be woke. It's not that we want to sit here and complain about every little thing. It's the fact that the industry has been headed in a direction that we do not like. And it's not just women equals woke or, you know, having a person of color equals woke. That's definitely not the case. It's when corporate DEI gets in the way of good storytelling and natural, unique storytelling. Um, of course, we have seen many women in lead roles in entertainment over the years, and that's perfectly fine. Look at something like Stellar Blade, for instance. People were very excited about it, and we knew from the start that Eve was going to be the lead character. People were not complaining about Stellar Blade because, oh no, it happened to have a lead female character. People were extremely excited for it, but of course, people like Jessica here went and moaned, groaned, whined, and complained, and ended up getting the experience ruined for tons of people. From the our graffiti controversy to them accusing shift up of simply making a game that appeals to the male gaze these hacks have tried at every given chance to attack this game which is why so many people are still supporting it because ultimately yes it does feature censorship and people are upset with shift up and sony but you're still pissing these journos off because you're still supporting a game that they have tried their very best to get buried. They've wanted this game censored. They've wanted it to be canceled. They've wanted people to boycott it. And so they complained about something, ended up getting things censored. And it's like they tried to take that as some kind of twisted win because they knew that people were going to not support it. And then now they're going to try to trash talk Stellar Blade at any chance that they get, except for, um, of course, calling out things like censorship, even though these people claim to talk about things in fair ways. Of course, they would talk about censorship if something was actually getting censored, they always claim, even though when push comes to shove, they never do. This is just a pathetic situation all around because she didn't have to make a statement on the Stellar Blade petition or hashtag free Stellar Blade. And instead of allowing gamers to do what they feel may make a difference, she is now attacking us, saying our behavior is unhinged simply because we're criticizing companies like Sony. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.